Welcome everyone. I am Naman Sashideva, a master's student pursuing aerospace engineering at TU Delft and a curious guy who just likes to solve real life problems. As humans, we can walk, we can run, we can swim, but we cannot fly. We cannot experience the thrill of flying by ourselves and this is the reason that one of the greatest minds ever existed on this planet, Leonardo da Vinci, try to develop designs of flying machines because he wanted to feel the experience of flying. So today I'm going to tell you more about aerospace engineering and why it is important uh, for the development of humans and what futures looks like in this field. Aerospace engineering is a wide field and uh, so we are mostly going to talk about the commercial side of the field. So the first question arises, why you should know more about aerospace industry at all? Like why is it important? The answer is that there is a, a lot of facts, uh, non facts about the aerospace, uh, about the aerospace industry, which a lot of people doesn't know about. And that often lead to many misinterpretations. One of them is that flying is uh, not a safe and I've heard from a lot of people who have flown multiple times uh, and still has the fear in their mind about the flying and despite of the fact that flying is the safest mode of transport uh, transportation in the whole world for comparison uh, it is 19 times yes 19 times less likely to die while traveling on a uh, through from from an air, aircraft or an aeroplane, when compared to a car. So unless you are sitting next to Vin Diesel in a Fast and Furious films, uh, you never going to you never get scared of uh, driving a car, right? So why get scared of flying at all, even when it is the safest mode of transport out there? And there is the reason that it is the safest mode of transport because and. It is because that it takes decades of research and billions of dollars to develop one aircraft. Yes, one aircraft. Everything we, the aerospace engineers, do, we always keep in mind that there are thousands of flights that depends on, w w on how we develop our product. The regulations by the government organizations are so stringent that it takes years to satisfy uh, to certify just one aircraft and that makes flying the safest mode of transport in the whole world the another thing that people are really concerned about is emissions yes i do agree that uh, aircrafts have a big impact uh, on the emissions when it is compared uh, to other means of transport per passenger the whole aircraft industry contributes to 2.5% of the global emissions and this is a big concern. But if you see aircraft's engines are one of the most efficient engines available. The reasons for more energy consumption and emissions is that flying is in general uh, when compared to other means of transport just takes more energy to, 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 for traveling per kilometer. It is a basic physics that it takes more energy, more energy to fly than to travel on ground or in the sea. But we are really working really hard to reduce the emissions and by opting new technologies like hydrogen propulsion or electric propulsion. It is the goal in Europe to have zero uh, aircraft emissions by 2050 and we are committed to this goal. Billions of dollars are being spent and billions of dollars are going to be spent in future only on reducing the emissions. The second question is why aerospace is important. Like why like we like we all know that one of the one of the biggest reasons is that it acts as a mode of transport uh, for people as well as for the goods. It is the safe, fastest and in many cases the only mode of transport available out there. But this is not it. There are a lot of other applications which just get sidelined 
or not even uh, or not even given, given the enough credit one of the most important uh, is the application of the emergency situations whether there is a need of transporting people with serious uh, conditions to hospitals or transporting life saving organs uh, across the whole country the aerospace industry has never let anyone down even today in the covid-19 pandemic uh, in the covid-19 pandemic because of the aircrafts it was possible to transport masks ppe kits medicines and doctors from one country to another and bringing back people from different countries and uniting them with their families in this time of crisis moreover in the rescue mi- missions where there is a need to rescue people in the flood affected regions um, or uh, or the uh, or during the accidents that happens in hilly areas or in the oceans helicopters are often used uh, and are considered the best options uh, for this part- for this particular application transporting essential products to research centers in uh, antarctica or to the soldiers in different terrains aircrafts have proved their mantle and there are many other fields which have been disrupted by the aircraft and this proves that how important and deep rooted the aerospace industry is in our society the third thing that i'm going to talk about is the future of aerospace industry or aerospace engineering and what the future looks like for a common people there are various of new designs that have been developed which are getting a lot of traction in the recent times one of the them one of the them is the flying v which is being developed in our department at tu delft uh, and um, uh, the concept is really cool in a sense that passengers are going to be uh, sit in the wings so which actually saves a lot of space as there is no need of this big tube in which the passengers sit right now so the passengers are going to sit in the wings and these are also uh, the the things that will generate the lift the other innovation that is going on in this field is in the is in the field of propulsion systems the aircraft the future air, uh, the future aircraft will be formed with hydrogen and electric propulsion which mean that there are no emissions and no one has to uh, to depend on the other countries for the fossil fuels but there is one area one area which is very near to my heart and that is the concept of flying cars or flying taxis people have been dreaming about flying cars for a long time and for decades actually but due to various technological problems it was not possible in the past but now as the technology is mature a lot of companies and startups including uber and lilium has come up with great concepts of air taxis which will transport people from one point to another just like a normal car but it would be much faster and much more comfortable and you may expect to see them in the next 5 years most probably in france germany and usa it is very exciting as these air taxis will give you the real experience of flying and that is what is my personal reason for going into this field flying is a great experience and everyone should be able to feel it not only in the bigger aircrafts but also in the, their daily lives i believe that we should not be restrained of flying and we must not let the sky be the limit so i hope that i have helped you in understanding more about aerospace engineering especially aircrafts and gen- the general misinterpretations that are out there and how important aircrafts are for us in the present world i believe that uh, now you all are excited about flying in an emissionless Uh, aircraft and air taxis and enjoy the joy and enjoy the joy of uh, uh, flying in future thanks and have a great day